Let's look at this next section, how they usually set in our test and in our examination. Remember, it's all about triggers. When I look at this diagram, these two are patterns. What type of figure is this? This figure is called the trapezium, where the one pair of opposite sides are parallel. What is this saying to us? Before we even look at the question, we know that if I know the gradient of this one, I will definitely know the gradient of that other one, because these two gradients are the same, because I'm told that these two lines are parallel. And before we even do anything, I can tell you what type of a, whether this gradient is going to be positive or negative, because I'm starting from the positive side. Hence, that gradient is going to be positive, this positive, this negative, this negative. Right, let's look at the first question. The first question says, find the gradient of BC. I go to BC and check the gradient there. This is BC. This is the line BC. We're looking for the gradient. Before I look at it, I should know that whether it is going to be positive or negative. If BC is here, how is this gradient? It is positive. So I must definitely get a positive solution here, a gradient. That ratio must be positive. Now, let's do it. The formula is, is BC. So gradient of BC will be equal to Y at B, Y at B minus Y at C over, remember it is Y over X. Y at B minus Y at C over X at B minus X at C. What is this giving me? When you put it in this form, you can write Y2 minus uh, Y1 over X2 minus X1. I want to avoid mistakes. I'm saying I'm looking for the gradient of BC. I'm saying Y at B. So I go straight to B and check what is the value of Y there. This is where B is. This is X and this is Y. So what is Y at B? Y at B in this particular case is zero. You follow this sign here, which is minus. What is Y at C? This is Y at B, which is zero. Y at C is one. It is minus one over. You follow this one as it is. X at B, umanu X could be, X could be or three. You follow this sign, which is minus, and you look for the X at C. Now, umanu X could C, X could C, umani or six. Remember that this gradient is positive. You should not panic. You should know that you are going to get a positive gradient. This then becomes, let's work this thing out. What is zero minus one? It will give us minus one over. What is three minus six? Three minus six. You take the sign of a bigger number, then you find the difference between the two. It is minus three. What is negative over negative? Negative over negative is equals to positive, so it's 1 over 3. This is the gradient of BC. So we know that the gradient of BC is nothing else but 1 over 3. That's what we know. Right, let's move on to the next question. Ah, the same question as Kuluman I. It's in the equation, find the equation of AD in the form Y is equal to something. We're looking for the equation of AD. Let me check what type of a graph is AD. When I look at AD, this is what, what, what AD is. This is a straight line. So in other words, we're looking for the equation of a straight line. In a Sifuna, I must find the equation of a straight line. It's in here. It's y is equals to mx plus c. So funa u m, gradient of c. Yinu m, the gradient. Yinu c, you are intercept. That's what we're looking for. Right. This is what we're looking for, the equation of a, d. Can I be able to find the gradient here? Uh-uh, no, because I've got unknown there. It's a problem. So that t gives me a deterrent. I can't find it using the, the, the y2 minus y1, because I'm going to have the unknown there. But what is it that I know? The solution is always in the question. I know that this gradient here, which I've calculated to be 1 over 3, is the same as that gradient here, there, the, because these two lines are parallel. Parallel lines have got the same gradient. So since I've got the gradient of BC, it is exactly the same as the gradient of AD. Let me take note of that. We are saying now, I'm looking for the equation of AD, but I know that when I'm looking for the equation, I'm looking for the gradient and the y-intercept. But I know that the gradient of AD, it is the same as the gradient of BC, which is equals to, what was the gradient of BC? It was just a positive 1 over 3. And we can see that that's a positive gradient. It is 1 over 3. So I do have the gradient. I have the best this one. Send in a gradient, be sure that the y-intercept. You go to that line. Nowhere else but to this line is gradient. Yeah. 
this is 6, or if we like, we can divide both sides by 3. We can divide both sides by 3 because we want to isolate T. We want to get into T. So when I divide this side by 3, this will go, I will be left with that one. If I divide this 6 by 3, what will I, 3 into 6 goes 2 times. So this side I will have 2 is equals to T minus 6. T minus 6. What is it that we are looking for here? We are looking for 6. We are looking for T. T. So, first show T here, the 6 father is another. The 6 minus another is positive. Or positive. Or which is T will be equals to 6 plus 2, which is equals to 8. So, T really is equals to 8. So, this problem is correct. Yes, this statement is true that T is equals to 8. Mm -hmm.